Welcome back everyone. We will continue the rest of our VATV coverage on the White House Easter Egg Roll 2019 event. Our crew found the best photos were taken at the mini podium with flags. Super cute for both children and adults. The gigantic blue portrait frame that captured the White House and its guests in the background. The egg displays which came in blue, green, gold, red and pink. And lastly, the event mascots ranging from Easter bunnies, cartoon eggs, animals, and children's book characters like Cat in the Hat. We had a blast getting our photos taken by the kind volunteers who are very conveniently stationed at each must-have photo area and with event mascots. Many attendees came hoping to get a glimpse of White House officials. The best opportunity was in the morning with groups A and B at the Reading Nook. The lineup included First Lady Melania Trump, General Joseph Keith Kellogg. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all of their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones. There were penguins short and tall. But little penguin Pip Pip was the smallest one of all. Secretary Wilkie. So he turned around and he hopped and hopped as fast as he could. Soon the little white rabbit was home. He still wondered about many things. Administrator Wheeler. Just don't go over by those hills, warned her friends. A mean polar bear lives there. How do you know he's mean, asked Mitzi. We hear he likes to show his teeth, replied her friends. But Mitzi had never seen a polar bear before, so she decided to take a quick peek. Counselor to the President, Kellyanne Conway. Etho and Shu stop by sometimes, but Bert avoids them. Instead, Bert stays at home, mostly drawing pictures of two boxes side by side. But he misses Etho. He misses their cardboard castles on Sudden Hill. One day, a knock at the door. He hears Shu's voice. We made you something, Bert. Please come outside. All Bert can see as he peeks from the curtain is a box. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. The rabbits cheered for the egg that had surprised them all. It's our best Easter ever, Hoppy, they shouted. Then the brave little bunny and the Easter rabbit rode off together to hide the eggs for boys and girls to find on Easter morning. The end. See how nice it was that Hoppy helped his friend? You have a question? I thought I only had to do questions in the briefing room, but I guess I can take some out here. Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams. Pig. <laughs> A pig, and what's that on there, Tobias? A bird. A bird. Okay. Once there was a pig who admired birds. 
Have you ever heard of a pig who admired birds before? Can you imagine that? Why would a pig admire birds? Millie, what does it say next? But he could never join them, could he? Could that pig ever join those birds? What do you think? I don't know. Well, he's got maybe in his dreams. He's got feathers in his hands. What's that pig going to try to do? And Assistant Secretary Frank Brogan. Inside was a message too smudgy to read, except for two words at the very bottom. Love Beatrice. The young robot did not know what love meant or who Beatrice was, but they felt important. So Z tucked the treasure away and headed toward home. Because we were assigned to a later group, we did not have the opportunity to see these officials. But out of complete luck, our very own reporter, Bitfung, got a brief photo session and Q&A opportunity with Vice President Mike Pence. Over 74,000 eggs were donated for attendees to indulge in donated by the American Egg Board. They were given out by wandering volunteers and set up at stations where seasoning was available. Coca-Cola refreshments were also made available from water, juice, tea, and sparkling beverages. And there is no limit to how much you can take, from what we can tell. And the goodies don't stop there. Volunteers also handed out egg headbands and festive bracelets for any takers that wanted them. At the end of the event, two boxes of Peeps marshmallows and a box of jelly beans were handed out to every adult, while each child was given a pink chocolate egg and two small packaged toys. The pink chocolate egg was most definitely a teaser for the parents and even single adults like myself because they were available in different colors as well, but for purchase at stalls near the exit of the event. So what do we recommend for those who are interested in coming in the future? Families with babies and toddlers, bring your strollers because you're going to need them for the long wait and the space for all the White House goodies. Keep those heels at home. It's not going to help you in the grass. A lot of women dressed so over the top, probably hoping for photos with White House officials. And they looked so worn out and shoeless by the end of the event. Trust our crew, stick with flats because there's a lot of walking. Plan ahead for travel because the Metro is crazy crowded for this event every year. For those interested in attending next year, you can access the White House website two months prior to Easter. The lottery usually lasts for a week around the end of February and winners are notified by email. As a first time attendee, I found this experience to be very enjoyable. It was great seeing families having so much fun while dressing so festively. We've even noticed that there were families from far away booking hotels just for this event, and I can see why. It's an opportunity for unforgettable memories and a chance to spend a lot of time on White House grounds. Hello everyone, we have reached the end of our Sunday's Vietnamese American television program. If you have any comments, tips, or suggestions, please feel free to reach us at VATVNews at gmail.com. Thank you for staying tuned and have a great rest of your weekend.